what can they offer me in advice, um, just, you know, in a couple of sentences for me to start working at the very basic level uh, with the Sri Lankan deaf community? What are kind of the main main points I need to keep in mind? Are you... Are you are you part of the deaf community at all at the moment? No, not Have you at had all. any contact with them before? No. Well, basically, um, you'll be focusing on what kind of area? Uh, theatre, teaching drama, and create helping them to create their own performances. Oh, okay. Well, basically, it must be fun. <laughs> as long as they enjoy it. It's not a forceful thing. As long as they play, they almost don't even realize that the activities that they are engaging in is something that will, might even create an addiction inside of them to, to, um, to do the performing arts. But I must say, the culture that you have in, in Sri Lanka is, is, is definitely that, something different than we have here in South Africa. So you need to keep that in mind as well, the culture that goes with. The reason I'm saying that is um, when I go to a school and I teach, when I teach a specific um, activity, the boys and the girls feel that um, they don't want to um, or, that, or, or they can't be together because of the rules of the school. The boys and the girls are not allowed to be in close proximity to each other. <laughs> so then that's something uh, you learn and you kind of move on. So, you, so they need to have space. If okay. It's, if it's bound to a specific religion where I'm as a man and not allowed to speak to a girl, then I need to know that. That in Germany, for instance, it was fine. But... Um, Uh, in Germany as well, we would experience um, some obstacles because of the cultural differences that we have. They mm. can do this, they cannot do this. So you almost have to work around it and, and mm. create your own personalized program. Right, right. Cool, cool. And I should definitely use the same tools of um, working through pictures and show and tell and, you know, only introduce scripts later on. Yes. Absolutely. Cool. And Marlon, does he have anything to add to that? <coughs> Basically, um, it's it's ba it's it's easier to fix to some uh, to stick to something um, short, brief, like um, using uh, a short story or. Um, are you talking about sign language? Mm -hmm. uh, and more specifically about sign language, stick to the to the basic signs like bath or a house or something like that. Learn this, learn the language, and then the games. Um, the games will then also start making use of the signs. Um, your body will then, or the body will then work with the sign. A lion is not just a lion, it's a lion. Um, and that kind of thing. So it all works together. Or you thought that um, when you stand and you sit and you lie down, stand, lie down, remember the sign. Yeah. 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 Uh, one, two, three, and then we know, oh, one, two, three, you need to look around, what's happening. Those uh. are the basic signs. Those are the basic things, for instance. Um, that, that's what we mean when we say the basic things you need to just get a hang of first. Yeah. So learn the basics of sign language first, that's what they're saying. And then use that to yeah. do very short segments with fun activities. Yes, yes. Fantastic. <laughs>
Thank you, thank you guys. Oh my god. Thank you, thank you. Thank you so much, Marcin. <laughs>